I am about to play Arsenal on Roblox with a PS4 controller connected to my laptop that thinks it is an Xbox controller. It also allowed me to make a cinematic scene with smooth camera movements. But more on that later. First, I will show you how you can install this for yourself. For this method, you will need a micro USB-B cable. This would be the charger for your DualShock controller, so you might already have it. I will also put links in the description of everything that you need. Connect the USB end of the cable to your computer. Once you've done that, connect the other end to the charging port of your DualShock controller. If this is the first time connecting your controller to your computer, then Windows will start installing a few drivers. Once it has finished, it will send you a notification and now we can start with the second step of the setup. In order for this to work, we need to install the .NET framework. The link for this is in the description. I have already installed it on my computer, but the setup should take you through all the steps. Now we will install the most important component in order for this to work. It's called DS4 Windows. There's a link in the description which will bring you to this website. Just click on download now. And then over here, you'll see the latest version. Just click on DS4 Windows.zip. What you see now will be different for every browser, but just make sure you save the file. Don't open it immediately. Once you have it saved, then open it. What you see here may also be different for you, but just click on ds4windows.exe. If this is the first time opening it, it will show an installer. Just make sure you select app data. It may load for a little while, but then it will show you this welcome screen. Just make sure you go through the steps. It will do everything really easily for you. This screen will simply just install a few drivers for you that you need in order for this to work. If you are on Windows 7 or below, you'll also need to select step 2. Double check if everything is connected correctly and then press finish in the setup. Now in DS4 Windows, you should be able to see the default profile in the profiles tab. When you click on that, you'll see the DualShock controller, but this doesn't mean that it's actually connected yet. To see if the controller is actually connected, we need to go to the controllers tab. If you're not able to see the controller, then click stop in the bottom right corner and then click start. Now, as you can see, the controller is connected to DS4 Windows. To check if everything works correctly, go to the Profiles tab, then click on Controller Readings. And now when you interact with the sticks on your DualShock, you should be able to see the same thing happen in DS4 Windows. And now we can start playing some games. The way you interact with the user interface on Roblox is basically the same way as you would do with an Xbox controller. When you open the in-game menu, you'll see that Roblox actually just thinks that this is an Xbox controller, so the controls might be a bit confusing. But this is just a matter of trying out a few buttons and seeing what it does. You're also able to move the same way as you'd be able to on mobile and on Xbox. And you can also, of course, still access all of the animations. I also tried playing Arsenal with this and I absolutely suck at shooting with a game controller, so I'll save you the despair of watching me fail miserably at Arsenal. Something that is quite interesting is that it will show you playing on an Xbox controller for everyone else when they look at the leaderboard. And now, of course, using the sticks on the DualShock controller, we can also have really smooth camera animations, as you can see here. So I can see this being used a lot for cinematic shots and short movies. And next time if you want to use this, all you have to do is connect your PS4 controller to your laptop and start DS4 Windows. That's it. 